Hey guys, Travis here at Debtors Dirt Bikes. So it's another wet, rainy weekend in Northern California. So it'd be a good time to install the spring conversion on my AER48 forks from uh, the WP. I haven't really been too stoked on these front forks on these bikes. They've been fine, uh, but I noticed that they like to bottom out easier for, for my liking because yeah, I do a lot of hard single track, but I also like to enjoy the fun jumps wherever I can find them and or the motocross track. And they're a little too soft, kind of inconsistent. Um, if you do mainly just single track, I'd say they're fine. But here's a closer look at the KTEC system out that I'll be installing. All right, so here it is. The reason why I went with the KTEC system is because Joe at CCS recommended it to me. If you're a local from here, then definitely check him out. There's a number. So here it is. What kind of, oh, keep in mind guys, before you go too crazy with any kind of bike modifications, make sure you play with your settings first. You know, if you notice the bike's too harsh, too soft, play with your settings first before you spend the money. Uh, you can also look into a revalve for your white weights, for your type of riding. Uh, and I've already done all that and it's still not quite there for me. What really got my attention about this system was there's a hydraulic dampener down in here. Basically, this is full of your fork oil. And as you come down on your stroke, this last part, that fluid has to shoot past that I'm not going to call it a piston, it's more like just a, a spacer ring. And so that's what kind of got my attention on it. This will be a short how-to video. I'm not going to go in depth, just kind of give you an idea of what the system's all about. And then after I put some rides on it, we will, I'll do a review on that and let you know what I thought about it. Instructions. Just kidding, I don't want to screw this up. All right, so put the fork in a vise, about a 45-ish angle. Of course, strain your fluid. Pull that guy, the um, main bolt to the bottom out. So that way we can get this rod. There, of course it's leaking. No matter how much fluid you try to take out, there's always some left. All right, so out with the old. We're going back in with the new. Now, you'll get these washers. So make sure that this part is down. So that's what helps it's center and then you have this nylon washer up top and I believe that's what your spring is going to ride on so let's see if I can look down in there yeah kind of okay so that's where it's going to go down inside and then it's pretty simple we're just going to put the spring in put that on there and then there's a certain measurement gap that we need to measure out uh, the directions don't really mention it but Joe said this is what I got to do for my weight and spring uh, that's another thing guys when you order this kit you gotta make sure you get the right spring for your weight and so we're gonna put it in there do the measurements like i said guys it's just gonna be a vague video right, so basically this is how it looks and right here this is where you adjust your preload that's what pushes up and down on this guy to adjust your um, sag on the front and of course that's gonna be bike specific your weight specific so basically now i got the uh spacer in there got the washer in there so I'm gonna hold this shebang in there. Yar, she's in. So there's gonna be other ways that you might see other guys setting fork sag the way I was told how to do it was you loosely install this spring with this guy into the tube and then you're gonna measure from this fork tube to the top of the spring. And then that square hex, you know, you'll, you'll have to kind of wiggle this, try to get it to slide down in here while you tighten the bolt back in. Once this guy is tight, it's gonna pull down on the spring a little bit, then you measure again. You measure that difference, which for my weight bike, yada yada, it was six millimeters. That's bike specific, so don't set it to that on your bike. It might be the same, might not. Directions, um, kinda, kinda dumb. Uh, it had you taken the top cap off and stuff, which, Joe and I both agree that's kind of ridiculous. You literally just slide it in, bolt it up, do your measurements. So now we're gonna fill it up to, I'm gonna have to double check my spec for my bike. Again, that's another spec tuning thing of how much fork oil this guy's gonna take. So I'm gonna fill it up, cap it up. All right, so now they're all installed. 
got the cool anodized cap now. All right, so um, it's a good idea at the same time to, if you're gonna be putting this much money into your uh, forks, it's a good idea to also revalve them for your weight and everything. Depending on the bike, depending on your weight, depending on what you want it to do, it's a good idea to revalve it with a different shim stack. You might be able to get away with your stock one, but again, guys, that's, that's a question to ask your local suspension builder. So, time to ride it, and I'll do another video on let you guys know how it goes.